way of speaking through which you can impress everybody through which you can create your own identity and leave a lasting impression on everyone who's there as your audience it Hello everybody how are you all hope you're doing great so welcome back to another session of improving your english speaking skills with me and in today's lesson i'm going to tell you how to become an expert english speaker how to speak english so fluently that you sound like an expert english speaker so today's video is all about how you can become that perfect english speaker that you want to become that you admire so are you all ready for this i'm shivangi gupta your celda certified english language tutor certified by the university of cambridge the uk and before beginning please subscribe the channel so that you do not forget to check out on any lesson that i post for you on the channel please like the video and share it with your friends too now coming back to today's lesson that is how to become an expert speaker how to become an expert speaker well who is an expert speaker there can be many definitions of an expert speaker for somebody it can be the accurate speaker for somebody it can be the speaker who has great speaking skills for somebody speaking absolutely fluent english can be becoming the expert english speaker now in order to do this what a lot of people do in order to become an expert speaker they have their own idol of an expert speaker this person that they admire a lot this person whose speaking skills influence them a lot now slowly and gradually what you do is you start copying them for example you are maybe going to college right and there is this particular person whom you like a lot because the way they speak their speaking skills you like their speaking skills a lot and you think let me also speak like this now you're copying their speaking style what will happen is you will lose your own identity instead of becoming an expert speaker you'll just become a shadow of that other person now this happens and when this is happening this is so dangerous for you when you copy somebody when you copy somebody what you're doing is you are leaving an impression of that person instead of creating an impression of yours now there is mr x and mr y mr x is thinking let me speak like mr y or let me behave like mr y and i will create a great impression for myself now when somebody who knows both of them would interact with mr x that person would not think about mr x as soon as mr x starts behaving like mr y this person is going to think he's behaving like mr y and the person he's thinking about is mr y that means mr y created an impression for himself and mr x also created an impression of mr y mr x identity became zero and mr y's identity doubled it multiplied so person who is original always multiplies the kind of influence that person has on people so if you are original you can influence people you can leave a long lasting impact on people if you are original that means becoming expert speaker is becoming an original speaker speaker who has some kind of originality because if you are projecting somebody else your identity at that time becomes zero why because people would not be influenced by you instead they'll be thinking about the person you're copying because everyone is able to tell whom a person copies if x is copying y anybody would be able to tell that x is copying y now what will happen is in this particular case nobody will be valuing mr x mr x value is zero mr y's value is increasing because everybody would think that okay this person is copying mr y there is something in mr y worth interacting with or worth learning from it can be anything and the value of mr y increases instantly so you have to become mr y that is you have to become original when you're speaking and this kind of thing happens a lot for example i am making content for you i am creating content for you that's original my content why i am able to do this because i have expertise in this field because of my education my professional background my qualifications whatever work i have done till now i cannot say that i have expertise in the medical field obviously i do not because i don't have that kind of uh, 
my educational background or any kind of work experience in that field that is not my expertise but this is my expertise i can say that so every person has some kind of expertise in their own field somebody who has studied engineering for example mechanical engineering would be an expert in the mechanical field somebody who has studied software engineering would be an expert in the software field right somebody who has studied management would be an expert in the management field so every person has some kind of expertise according to their education their professional qualification their skill set and the work they are doing in which field they are working now what happens is a lot of times people they start copying my videos and how do i get to know this through my subscribers they mail me they mail me about this particular thing that i've seen that this particular channel has copied your video and this and that i receive a lot of mails and if you think that i'm not checking out your mails do not worry i know i've checked out your mail so thank you so much for telling me thank you so much for letting me know but do not worry about it why because as soon as you've seen the video you were able to recognize it's my content that means my work is done my work has left an impression on you and you're able to recognize that it's my work so even if they are copying they're just copying nobody would remember them the people who are copying and it's dangerous for them in the long run because they would not be able to create anything for themselves so when you copy somebody else you're not original because you don't have any knowledge about it you don't know what you're doing you're just copying somebody just like that so i know a lot of people they copy my content and as soon as i come up with a new technique some people they just take it just like that and it's okay because they are telling you something that's wrong in it when they copy me they are telling you wrong things they might copy my thumbnail as it is and i've seen that people copy my thumbnail as it is my content as it is but they're just copying it when they present something it can be dangerous for the viewers if you're watching those videos it's going to be dangerous for your fluency because they have no educational background in the field of english language i've seen people with no no educational background in the field of english language they don't have any english related kind of education and they're just picking up my videos just watching them maybe and thinking that they'll copy and get some views out of it maybe so they are doing it just for that and it's okay in the long run youtube is watching everything you people are watching you people are judging and telling me that means copying is just copying you have to be original now you tell me that that's my content that means you know i'm original that's why original is the best you have to stick to your originality find that original way of speaking that you have you need to find that original way of speaking because your value instantly increases when you are original as i've told you if mr x is copying mr y mr x is only promoting mr y doing nothing else mr x is not getting promoted mr x is not getting recognized it's just as if there are some cheap copies of louis vuitton or prada available right i might have seen a store where it's available but i don't remember where that store is because i would never do that i would never go and buy that if i want to buy a louis vuitton original bag i want to purchase a handbag i would instantly walk into a louis vuitton store and purchase it from louis vuitton original because i know where that store is where that particular handbag is available and i know the originality of that handbag okay this is the exclusive design of louis vuitton so that is what is happening when you are original you create something of yourself an identity for yourself and that identity is very important even as a speaker and if you're thinking that you are in some kind of position where you just work as a team member in your company still as a team member you are an individual who has to establish their own identity so adopt that original way of speaking through which you can impress everybody through which you can create your own identity and leave a lasting impression on everyone who's there as your audience it can be your boss it can be the management team it can be your colleagues it can be anybody so do this become an original speaker that is what you need become an original speaker and see the magic happening so i just want to say to all my well wishers all my subscribers who are worrying and who are letting me know about these facts of my content getting copied i just want to tell you that first of all thank you thank you so much that you are supporting me you are worrying about me and your love it's getting reflected from all these mails messages so thank you so much 
Now, another thing that I want to tell you is do not worry because Coco Chanel has said that if you want to be original, get ready to be copied. That is something that every original person has to face. If you want to be original, get ready to be copied. And that is said by Coco Chanel. We know her story, the founder of the brand Chanel, one of the most luxurious brands in the world. Even the last year's Met Gala was on the theme of Chanel to give a tribute to Coco Chanel for her work in the field of fashion industry because she was the woman who was so determined to create a name for herself, her identity and look where is the brand today, Chanel. So she has said this, if you want to be original, get ready to be copied. Do not worry about it because copy is a copy. There are many copies available, but people only value something that is original. We always value things that are original and people would always appreciate things that are original. So copies, however many copies you create of something, people will neglect it. They would not even pay attention towards it. They'll always go for the original. So original is original and that is what I want to tell you that when you speak, stick to your originality. Whenever you do anything in life, just not speaking, let me tell you this, that whenever you're doing anything in life, find your authenticity. Become an authentic individual. Find your originality and do it with that originality and see what kind of wonders you'll be able to do. And I'm telling you this because of my personal experience. When you find that originality, you feel so good about yourself, stick to it, hold on to that and do things with that originality. Believe me, you'll see a great difference, whether it's speaking or any other part of your life. So that is all I would say. Original is original and become an original speaker to become an expert English speaker. That's it for today. That was it. Thank you for everything. Thank you for all the love, support, all the blessings that my subscribers, my well-wishers, my supporters are giving me. Thank you so much from the bottom of my heart. Thanks a lot. That's it for today. I'm going to meet you again with a new lesson. Till then, everybody, take care and bye.